So I think this uh, segment is in part two. I'm trying to time it. So the guy at the end of Panama Street, 1700 block, the last house on the north side, was planted there on purpose. What could be more humiliating, annoying, and just his whole attitude was annoying? I think he put on a whole show. I don't even think he lives there. Or if he lives there, he learned to play theater with a lot of losers who do theater in Philadelphia. So this has to do, again, I'll reiterate the story. I was hired to walk someone dogs today. I was wondering what was up because I usually don't get hired for certain dogs on Saturdays. So I'm like, what's going on on Saturday? Unless that something was pre-orchestrated by someone up in the sky. Some people might know to avoid Philadelphia and stay out or whatever. I walked two dogs. I was gonna go down Delancey. There's a huge crowd in front of the theater, plays and players on the 1700 block of Delancey. So a little voice inside me said, avoid going down Delancey, just go to the no outlet down Panama and quietly walk them there. We're trying to enjoy the day. I go down there, one of the dogs Fletcher, number twos, at the back of someone's garage and the garage door is open. These are open air garages, so like there's a door, but just the frame. Um, so it's not like a closed room of a garage. So you can look up, there's no roof per se. So I'm picking up Fletcher's number two and I notice the guy come out of his house and he's just sort of rustling around. And I kind of laughed like, oh my gosh, Murphy's Law. <laughs> I was really cute and everything. Um, you know, sorry about that. He had to, of course he had to poop right here behind your car and blah, blah, blah. So I pick it up, I start to walk away. I did a glance back as if someone could magically force me to glance back and notice something, but I noticed another little turd, if you will, kind of dusty in the sand as if it had been there for a while. I didn't buy that it was Fletcher's. I looked at it like, I don't think that's his, and this happens all the time. People's dogs, number two, next to other people's doo-doo. And whoever, whether it's the walker or the owner of the dog, they're like, I don't wanna have to pick up somebody. <laughs> also, it was kind of awkward, because I was like, should I go back or not? But the dog's already pulling me down the street. And by principle, it's like, I don't wanna pick up something, especially if I think it was planted there on purpose, which it was. So, I walk down Panama Street to 17th Street and then I make a right to go south towards Pine. As I cross the street over Pine, now this is a good three minutes went by because the traffic light chain had to change and everything. All of a sudden I hear this guy saying, excuse me, 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 excuse me. And he was way back there running as if a really bad character on the Truman Show because he's part of the problem of people creating the Truman Show. I'm glad I don't do this full time. I'm thanking God every day I'll have to put up with these losers. So a little voice inside my head or my handler, number 35, satellite in the sky, said, just play along, just play along, just play along, just play along. I know you want to punch this guy in the face. Just play along, just play along, just play along. And I was like, oh, I thought I got everything, which I actually know that I got everything. And he's like, no, there's a little bit. He went all that way just for something the size, like smaller than a quarter, smaller than a Buckeye candy from Ohio. And Fletcher's medium to large. So when he leaves stuff, it's larger. It was a skit. It was an orchestrated theatrical skit to hurt me and harass me like god forbid Sharon want to have a good day every day I go out trying to have a good day and they show up I want them in federal prison I want that guy in federal prison I'm not kidding so my handler was like just play along just play along just play along we know you want to punch him in the face just play along do the best you can, do the best you can. You're about to be humiliated and exploited, possi possibly murdered and raped because he followed me all the way back to his alleged house. And it got a little weird and uncomfortable. The minute we got to the location of this alleged turd, allegedly of Fletcher, but it wasn't his, I know it. Sheldon, the beagle, snatched it up to eat it. 
I couldn't thank him enough. So Sheldon ate the poop and I walked away. I had a few comments under my breath to let him know he was an asswipe jackass uh, pansy shithead who I'll report to the FBI, the CIA, and Homeland Security. But that guy could have been a murderer and a rapist and he needed me to follow him back to his house. He planted the poop. Do you get it? Do you hear me? Best coke ever. Do you hear me that it's dangerous that Sharon has to be in this position sometimes, thank God, only part-time? Do you hear me that I reported him as a potential murderer and rapist with murderer tendency who needed me, who needed to grab me on the street, looking like a night. He made it seem like he was super nice, but it came off really fake and false. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Do you know how much it takes to not want to rank, punch somebody in the face when you've been traumatized to the level that I've been traumatized every day? I want to know if these people can't get enough. I want to know who's involved. I want to know how soon you can get these people in prison. Homeland Security, CIA, and FBI. I want to know where you are. You're looking for terrorists from, in, from uh, Middle Eastern whatever. They don't, they pale in comparison to what these people do. I am so not kidding. I am so not kidding. The guy at the end of Panama Street is a murderer and a rapist. Do you hear me? His children should be saved. He seems to have kids who he tried to drag out later to look innocent. See how you can... to the next one because there's too many people here who are incredibly abusive. I'll tell you why in a minute. Oh wait, there's too many people listening secretly. So when we say I'll tell you why in a minute, it means I'll tell you in about five days when that person is eating lunch or getting it on with his wife. Can't pay attention. <laughs> is that so funny? 